Someone reminded me I once said, greed is good. Now it seems it's legal. Because everybody's drinking the same Kool-Aid. The world is still reeling from the meltdown of the global economy, which began almost two years ago. And with the recklessness of Wall Street cowboys to blame, it's easy to see why Oliver Stone thought the time was right for a follow-up to his 1987 film, Wall Street. He was wrong. Michael Douglas reprises his role as the savage trader Gordon Gecko, who, after being released from prison for insider trading, is trying to get back on top. Jewish actor Shia LaBeouf plays an idealistic young energy trader, Jake Moore, who's engaged to be married to Gecko's daughter, Winnie, played by Carey Mulligan. But when nefarious banker Breton James, played by Josh Brolin, sinks Moore's firm and causes his mentor to suicide, Moore turns to Gecko to help him get revenge. Reprising the role that won him an Oscar in 1987, Michael Douglas is good, but he's one of the few highlights in a heavy-handed, melodramatic mess. Unlike the original, Wall Street Money Never Sleeps is no guilty pleasure. In fact, it's not a pleasure at all. Adam Camion, Jane TV. I know it sounds crazy, but people change. It's not who you think he is, Jake. He'll hurt us. Why don't you start calling me Gordon? You want to be part of the family business. You got my attention. But when you don't know what you're doing, it's fatal, Mr. Moore. So much you don't know, Jacob. They took my life, and when I got out, who's waiting for me? Nobody! This is not about the money. This is about you and me. It's about doing the right thing. It's about the game. Jake, I did warn you. It's easy to get in. It's hard to get out. Is that a threat? Absolutely. 